you have to understand also the game that you're playing, right? I mm. mean, it's golf. And, 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 you know, other than Tiger Woods, you know, I mean, if we get it to the highest level, what is a, what is a professional golfer really winning at, in, you know, tournament wise, right? I mean, it's, it's a very, it's a single digit number, if that at all, right? And, and like anything else, I mean, you look at like a Jordan Spieth, who was just riding his, I mean, all, I mean, he's just right. doing so well, then all of a sudden has a bad moment, really, and, and it just kind of took his career in a different path. Well, how did he handle that struggle? Because it wasn't just a few months. It went on for years and people, you know, reporters, I mean, everybody that he interviewed with was asking the same question, you know, are you, are you struggling? Are you in a, you know, are you in a rut? And I think again, you know, if he didn't have the proper training development, you know, mental health uh, support and all of that. I don't know if you would have ever done what he's doing right now, which is, you know, on the, you know, I don't, it's on a comeback or whatever you want to call it. He's so yeah. young, I don't know if you call it a comeback, but he was able to work his way through it. More importantly, um, you know, again, he has the same coach that he's been working with as a junior right. today, and they worked through that together. So that talks and speaks volumes to the relationship they have. Yeah. Yeah. The support system that they've created. Now, I, I know, um, you may, you recently made a decision to support Jaden on the mental side of, of golf and the mental training. What can, can you tell us and walk us through a little bit about like your views? Have they changed in terms of mental training for Jaden? Oh yeah. I mean, again, you know, after kind of doing my own therapy, right. And whatnot, I, I thought, you know, th- this might be a, a good time for Jaden, you know, as he's transitioning from, you know, 11 to 12, again, now every child is different. So, you know, some mature faster than others, some go through puberty, you know, and, and I just know that, you know, there, there is a moment in time where, you know, the hormones and all the different things are going to start, you know, to uh, affect the way we, we, we approach things. So um, I think, again, my approach mentally with golf before was why do we need it? You know, again, we're, you're an athlete, you're playing, you're, you're going to be fine, you know, but um, after looking at, again, right? Some, some other dads and, and kind of what they were doing with their kids, you know, a little bit older, but um, I, I realized, no, this is, this is important. And, and why is it important is because um, we don't think about how mental the game can be. Um, mm-hmm. It's unbelievable that, you know, just from the anxieties of the first tee shot to playing a tournament to all those things. And I, I think um, it's really helped Jaden uh, in his approach to the way he practices, to the way he prepares for a tournament, to um, when he's there at the tournament, to he for the first tee shot, to when he's in the middle of the tournament, like all of that breakdown. And I know it's a lot, but it's something that again, at, at different levels for where your junior is at, it's an it's it's necessary. It's it's actually, you know, I mean, the game in itself is probably 90% mental. Yeah. And um, you know, to, to not have that is, 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 is really, a, I think it's, it's a miss if it, but again, it all depends on where you are. Um, I think the most important thing from the mental part of it and the training and all that though, is managing your expectations, mm-hmm. right? Managing what you are expecting in that practice round or whatever you think, right. Um, and, and really understanding it's not about me just hitting a ball out there. It's actually really trying to understand how do I want to play this course based on my abilities, right? So some, some people can hit a par five and two, maybe I can't, but Jaden trying to hit the ball up there uh, to, to 20 yards and now having an in-between shot versus maybe leaving it back to 80 yards and giving him a full wedge in is, is things we never thought about. Right. That type of stuff that, now at this age, when you're playing these longer distances and, and, and you're playing, you know, older kids is important to have. You've got to have those types of uh, strategies and thoughts. I'm a firm believer that in order for you to kind of uh, gr- graduate into that echelon of an elite performer, any kind of performer, but there are three things you need to master. One is your craft, like your skill. I mean, everybody has a technical swing coach to, to work on their swing, even Tiger Woods. I mean, constantly bouncing back from different coaches to perfect his swing and, and get a solid swing that he can repeat consistently. That's your craft. Number two is your body. If you look at golf now, I mean, you're training your body in a completely different way. I think Tiger 
really revolutionized the way we approach uh, physical training. And then now we upped it with, you know, Bryson uh, doing his whole workout. And, and it's, it's so different now. It's a very physical sport. And then three is your mind. And all three of these ride together. I think um, we, we really need to put equal amounts of emphasis on each three. But a lot of people take care of the first two, but they ignore the third just because we haven't really been taught. But for, and, and a classic example is what you shared. Like in the beginning, well, mental training, let's just tough it through. You know, we're going to learn from our experiences, apply them, just, just repetition, practice, practice, practice. Then, you know, then we'll, we'll be able to master this. But as you experience yourself working with a mental coach, it's, it's, it's so, so much more um, uh, expansive than that, changing your managing expectations, changing your perspective of how you approach the game and how Rick kind of says, you know, I don't really, it, those are important, the stats of fairways and greens and stuff like that, but it's really understanding and unpacking that whole journey in the process of, okay, you got to put yourself in these difficult, challenging situations and see what your own reactions are so that when that time comes, we're not surprised by it. We're not overreacting. We're not um, alarmed. So we're learning to, you know, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. I think the biggest thing is just um, having that mindset of being open to new things, right? Things that probably make you uncomfortable are the things that you probably want to focus on. And, yeah. and there's, no doubt, there's no doubt about, about I've, I've definitely learned that because for myself growing up and where I am today, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not young. So, you know, change and, um, you know, things like that, mental health, they just, they don't ring home to me before. It's very different today. And, and, I, and I think you see that more and more in sports today at the highest level. Yeah. There, are, there are a lot of people doing uh, mental work. And, and I think um, we have to acknowledge that.